I wanted to do a little CNC Easter project, but my wood supply is starting to run low and with this shelter in place thing going on, I really didn't want to go anywhere to try to get any more wood. I went rummaging around in my shop and found this uh, stuck back in a corner. It's a board that I think is ash, might possibly be some kind of mahogany. It's been so long since I bought it, I don't even really remember what it is, but it's about seven and a quarter inches wide, so I thought, well, it'll work for this small project. The 3D design that I'm carving is purchased from Design and Make. Uh, you can get to them through uh, the Vectric software. There's a direct link through there, or you can just Google Design and Make, and uh, they have lots of uh, 3D models to choose from. I used a quarter inch end mill for the roughing pass and I didn't even bother trying to film that with the dust shoe off because it makes such a mess. But with these other two passes, uh, I'm just using uh, a tapered end ball nose. Uh, the first first pass was with a 1 8 inch tapered end ball nose and then this one here is with a 1 32nd tapered end ball nose. Uh, so they don't make much of a mess, just real fine dust. So. I decided to film this with uh, the uh, dust shoe out of the way so you can get a look at it going back and forth there. Since this piece is kind of small, I decided to do two different finishing passes. Like I said, the first one was with, was with a 1 8 inch tapered ball nose, and then this one is with the real fine uh, 1 32nd uh, tapered ball nose, which has a uh, radius of 1 64. So it's really pointy and uh, brings out some of the detail when you're doing something really small like this. Because this board was only seven and a quarter, quarter inches wide, uh, the approximate size of this piece is about seven inches by eight and a half inches tall. For those of you guys and gals that like all the details, like the information about the router bits I'm using, the cycle times and feed rates and RPMs and all that stuff, I'll have a list down below in the video description if you want to check that out. The total time to run all four tool paths, including bit changes, was right about five and a half hours. For the final profile pass, I didn't use any tabs. I just uh, only went down until there was about 70 thousandths of material left, and then I cut it out on a bandsaw and used a flush trim bit. And here is the piece fresh off the machine. And here's the piece after a couple of coats of spray lacquer. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I hope you all have a very happy Easter.